setting up a, uh, oh, I'd say a, a boxing ring, but it's really, uh, you can't be considered that. It's more of a, uh, a mockumentary version of a boxing <laughs> ring. And you'll be able to see it all on the uh, Pal Talk today. Uh, boxing on the Ron and Fez show. Uh, Dean from Brooklyn knows these girls who box. They want to come in and show it off a little bit. What are their names, Dean? Uh, Belinda. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Belinda Brown Sugar. I think her last name is uh, Laraquente. Laraquente. And uh, Melissa Hurricane Hernandez. All right, so it's Brown Sugar and Hurricane. Uh, brown Sugar and Hurricane. <laughs> yeah, and where do they dance? <laughs> See, I wanna, the, uh, in Dumbo. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, I want to go. I want to do those jokes before they come in because yeah. you say that they can throw fucking leather, Ooh, right? Yeah, yeah man. I mean, I actually saw them yesterday. I was over at Gleason's uh, uh, setting up some shots for a wrestling gig we're doing over there, and uh -huh. uh, they were training some girls over there. And it's just br the women boxing now has just become brutal. Well, brutal. yeah, I mean, women's boxing is just boxing with women. It's, it's, it's not any kind of powder puff stuff. No. So they're going to come over. They're going to show off a little of the boxing, and then we're going to throw in a couple of our athletes. Uh, <laughs> Eastside Dave is going to hop into the ring. Goddamn right. As long as well as uh, Earl Black Sugar <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> well, there's going to be trouble here. <laughs> Earl, you ready to? <laughs> Earl, you ready to hop in the ring? I'm ready to throw down, baby. Now, professionally, you are 1-0. and oh. You stopped the Al Dukes while you had a flu. And another bout of female boxing. <laughs> Unde retired, undefeated, coming out of retirement, particularly for you guys, especially for you guys, and to fight the ladies. All right, so you feel like you're in the Navy now and you're fighting for the flag. You're one of those guys. All right, let's bring uh, the boxers in. Uh, Fezzi, some championship boxers are in the house today. Yeah, that's right. We have Belinda Brown Sugar Laraquente, and we have Melissa Hurricane Hernandez coming in from bestfemboxers.com. And, uh, this gets to me, uh, world-class boxers, but incredibly attractive. Really, really attractive young ladies. I was expecting to see, uh... You know, a couple of, uh, of big girls. Right, yeah. But these are very, very tight, very attractive women that uh, can beat uh, up uh, people. Now, uh, I know that you lost your, your title. They took your title away from you? Um, I think maybe by the end of the week. Uh, by the end of the show, maybe? By the end of the show? <laughs> <laughs> now, what was your title? Um, I had the GBU at 135 pounds, which is lightweight. Yeah. So I won that last year in Vegas. Now, why would they take the title from you? Oh, uh, because some bitch down in Vegas is scared to fight me, and now she's saying that I won't. So that's what Oh, is that it? That's how it is. <laughs> now, how do you know? Uh, who th They set up the fights for you, though? Actually, no, I set up my own fights because um, Belinda's one that manages me. So uh -huh. Actually, all the money stays home, so we keep it in there. I understand. Now, uh, how many fights a year you have? Oh, uh, maybe three, four. Three or four fights a year? Yeah. So that's a little more than, than the men fight? Well, um, or, or or at a certain level, men are fighting that much. I guess. I guess only the champion only fights about once or twice a year in the men's division, basically, right? Basically, but it's not the same as the guys because the guys can uh, fight maybe three, four times a, a year, uh -huh. but they get millions, and we don't get, uh, we don't even get uh, no more than five thousand. So. Oh, is that right? So, so the money why, is not the same. No, that's why we have to hustle. We like I whores. Say, you like horse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would be the thing to do. You fight and then you date right yeah. after. You it's go. a new pimp game. Yeah. <laughs> now, before a fight comes down, are you are you scared? Is there a certain amount of nervousness to get into the ring every time? Or? I mean, yeah, you're going to get yeah. your shit kicked out of you. You know, wouldn't you be scared? Yeah. At, <laughs> any, at, no matter, even if you win, you know it's still going to hurt, right, at the end of the day. Yeah, I no mean, matter what. Yeah, you go yeah. home with a black eye. And yeah. I got stitches in my last fight. I didn't expect that, but hey, now, it's sexy in the club. <laughs> what got what got you fighting? Um, I was fat. Uh huh. Okay, there you go. So you thought this is the best way to work out? Yeah, it was entertaining. That's yeah. It. Now, did you did you fight as a kid in the streets? Did you you know did, did you come up rough? Or? Yeah, no, yeah, I grew up in the South Bronx, so I had uh -huh. to protect my nuts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> huh? I'm a little confused. <laughs> it is bestfemboxers.com, right? <laughs> sure. Okay. So, uh, boxing uh, became your life pretty quickly, though. It's something yeah, you enjoy. Yeah, five years. Yeah. And you work out every day? Yeah, unfortunately. What, what is a normal workout for you? Uh, I mean, running my mouth now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, just, um, basically just hitting the bag, speed bag, jumping rope, running. Right. Those hideous sit-ups. But you stay away from weights, right? 
You don't lift weights? Depends. We, yeah. don't, we don't lift weights. We just do uh, shadow box with one, two pounders. That's it. Right. So, and if everybody, uh, there's a lot of guys who don't even, they'll, they'll do the workout without uh, boxing themselves. Or they'll just, you know, shadow box or hit a bag. Because the workout itself is a, is great for everyone, right? Yeah, it's um, it's actually number one. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of cardio. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like number one for the best for getting in shape. Yeah. So. Now, do you train guys as well? Do, yes. Yeah. And have you been in the ring with guys? All the time. Yeah. Um, any woman that goes around saying, oh, I spar with men, so do the rest of the world. Right. There's not enough women to sit there and only spar with women. So basically, men are getting their kicks beating us up. <laughs> now, at any point, can you do you learn to take a punch or every punch that you get tagged with is going to hurt? I mean, is there a way to roll with this or... No, you learn. Eventually, you get punched enough that you can walk through some punches. Uh -huh. And then some of them you don't walk through. Now, if you got in a fight on the street, where would you hit the person? Where would you hit a guy? Kick them. You would kick them. <laughs> You'd kick them. You'd go right for the balls. There you go. Boy, you Me know too. what? The worst thing that ever happened to men is balls. <laughs> because <laughs> women are obsessed with hitting us there. And they, to them, it's a, a funny thing. Where you realize, you don't even have to get hit hard in the balls. You just brushed up against yeah, drop you. It's extremely painful. See, but I don't believe that. And it's also I dirty. Yeah. And <laughs> I hope will not be so used for the match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you don't you don't believe that? No, because the guys like when we're boxing, I'll tap them and yeah. they'll throw themselves on the floor. I'm like, come on, can't no. be that terrible. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah you true. yeah you don't understand. It's like having your kidney exposed to the world. <laughs> yeah. It's like if your kidney was just hanging there off your thigh. I don't. I'm not going to second guess God, but this was very bad engineering. Those things should have been way up inside or hidden way up somewhere. Inside. Yeah, yeah. So that means when we get punched in the city, we got to roll over too. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think that you understand uh, that the pain in the balls <laughs> far as some uh, it goes past anything a tit shot could do. I'm yeah. having it now, just talking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ow. Don't worry, no one can find those raisins of yours. You're, uh, you're fine, Mr. High Voice. Good? <laughs> Belinda Brown, Sugar Letter Quente, and Melissa Hurricane Hernandez are in studio from bestfemboxers.com. Now, you, you guys met in the Bronx, and now you, you train in Manhattan. You still live up in the Bronx? or We, no, live, we live in the Bronx, but yeah. we met in Florida. Oh, in Florida, what part? Yes. In um, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, there's a lot of boxing in South Florida, too. Uh, what is the best boxing town in America right now? Oh, New York. New York, best, still best. Yes. After all these years. Yes, very much right. so. All right, that's good to hear, Fezzi. Yeah. That's nice to hear. Some hometown pride. This might be good for you to get down Gleason's, <laughs> let him work the stent over a little bit, and see how you do down there. Double stent shot. I don't know if that's good <laughs> for me. Yeah. All right, so Dave is going to get in the ring with you a little bit. Now, this will not be, you know, a real contest. I want you to get him in, train him a little bit, and then see if he can handle himself. Right. right. And if and, I happen to whip your ass, oh, so be it. All right. All right. That's, That's why we all. left the cup. I'm going to make the hurricane into a light. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the hurricane into a light drizzle. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's well, the second time. Tough to talk. No, no, I, I, I use that uh, different yeah. reference. The light yeah. drizzle is going to be coming out of your cock <laughs> because you're going to hit once and then piss yourself. <laughs> Slowly piss yourself. You know what I like to do with you ladies? I like to just uh, hi, uh, hire you as my uh, bodyguards ah. because that way, a you could defend me. And then B, it looks like I have two chicks. <laughs> and wherever I go, look at this guy, he's doing great for himself. It's a good luck. Yeah. <laughs> but we have to be in bikinis. We Gold just bikinis. Defend the balls, there we go, because they're coming it. back in. You yeah, will. <laughs> defend my balls at all uh, costs. <laughs> at all times. <laughs> at all times. <laughs> Everything's okay here. All right, now you guys need a couple minutes to get your gear on. We're going to let you go do that. And Dave, you're going to be first. And if that works out. Uh, Earl wants to step in the ring. But did you guys want to just show us a little bit, sparring back and forth, just to show us a little bit before we get started? No problem. All right. Well, let's get you guys uh, okay. all locked in. Beautiful young ladies, Fezzi. Uh, but they uh lethal. Yeah. Lethal in the ring. Brown Sugar and Hurricane. Yeah. Brown Sugar and Hurricane are here. Uh, all tatted up and ready to get in the <laughs> ring for us. Very, very exciting day. I can't explain to people how bad it hurts to get punched in the nose. Everyone's always acting like they could t take a punch. But most of the time in a bar fight, if you get hit first, the last thing you feel like doing is fighting. It takes yeah. uh, a little bit of time. And a headbutt 
in the face. Right. Forget about it. And that's why, at a certain point, guys get sick of fighting, mainly because they get really sick of uh, being hurt. And when you're a kid, you can hit each other, and nothing hurts. But the second you get past, like, you know, mid-20s, you get in a fight, and it's days of laying around and just feeling the pain. And then by the time mid by the time you're in your mid thirties, you're like, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. It feels like you've been hit by a truck. So you really do try to find ways of getting around it. Now you can see this. We're going to set it up on Pal Talk. Pitsy uh, is going to set it up. Um, the 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 Pal Talk room is called. Let's box with brown sugar. <laughs> no, that's not the no, correct name. No, that's not it. Oh, no. no, the Pal Talk room. I said the wrong name. Oh, yeah. You can check it out on um, Pal Talk in the Ron and Fez Big Ass Room. Yeah. The yeah. Ron and Fez Big Ass Room. And then what you want to do is uh, pull up the I'm the Pits camera or the Ope Ant 2 camera. Wait a minute. We're running two cameras today? We're going to run two cameras today for the ladies from bestfemboxers.com. So All that's right. I'm the Pits and Ope Ant 2. Now, Pitsy, you're lining that up right now as we speak? Yes, sir. Uh, and I don't know which room is which, so find me a camera there, and I'll, and I'll check it out. But what I would also like to do, uh, Fezzi, is uh, get Dave and Earl knocked out. That, to oh. me, would be the perfect thing. That and would... the way you're feeling today, you'd, you'd like to see Earl get knocked out. Oh, that would make it just the perfect Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, just a great day. I may not need to go to four wins if I get that. <laughs> that could be a whole mood changer right there. Something just All got right. knocked so over over there. Yeah, that was the hurricane. Getting a little rambunctious, well, I think. <laughs> now, do we need Getting to play all... the uh, national anthem first, or are we fine? <laughs> Um, since it's not a sanctioned event, I don't think we actually need to do the national anthem. All right. I'm going to grab a mic over here, Fezzi. Okay. So we have Belinda Brown Sugar La Raquente and Melissa Hurricane Hernandez. They box out of Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn, and you can check them out all online, bestfemboxers.com. Now, let's just, uh, let's just do the workout a little bit and show us uh, what exactly we're going to be looking at. Okay? So here they are. Boxing stand. Boxing stance right away. <laughs> the first thing you learn is your jab. All right, there's the jab. And you learn the front hand jab. Yeah. Then you learn the cross, which is the straight, which is your power hand. So right. It's right hand, it's the right hand, the straight. Then you learn your hook, which is when you turn your body over to the side. And that's probably the deadliest punch. The hook <laughs> is the deadliest punch? Yeah, because it catches you right in the chin. Hook, uppercut, and you can uppercut with both hands. And that's your, your basic five punches in boxing. Right. So then when you turn out being, which is the basic combination is one, two, three. So that's usually what you end up knocking people out with. The one, two, three. The one, two, three. The old one, two, three. Yeah, the old one, two, three. <laughs> Fezzi. Oh, I've heard of that. You know, yeah. I, I've added a four. And that's, after the three, I run. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's just keep on doing this real quick. Some world class boxers, because he's showing us the uh, workout. And I, I, it's quite a workout that you're getting just holding those pads, too, right? Yeah, you get a lot of friction from yeah, the you're hand. Taking up a, there. Yeah, mm, you're taking yeah, you that take shot. Yeah, you take the pain. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, though. Yeah, does it? Yeah. I can tell. It's up hurting your joints. I, 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 I was seeing the stress that was going through your arms there. Especially if you got a big guy giving pads to a big guy, they right. just want to be so strong and hit hard, so it hurts. So, <laughs> yeah, ladies. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> when a guy gets in, he's not working on technique as much. He's like, let me show you the power I got. And you really, uh, technique is more important yeah. at first, right? Yeah, it's very important because that's how you don't get your butt whipped. Right. You know, because if you throw a punch wrong, you end up breaking your hand. Okay. But guys don't really care about that. They just want to throw a bottle at you in the bar. No, right? Yeah, <laughs> that is the best way. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're getting Dave uh, lined up. Okay. Is there anything else you want to show us before we get into that? Or? No, we don't want to teach him any more tricks. Yeah, okay. okay. So, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you got to worry about too many combinations when it comes to Dave. Now, Brown Sugar and Hurricane, they've got a couple lady boxers they've trained that are going to be in the Golden Gloves Championships coming up the 17th and 18th at Madison Square Garden. Wow, that's exciting, the garden, huh? Yes, we have a 154, um, Justine, and a 165, uh, Jenny. How large do the, do the girls get? How big? Uh, do they go over 200 pounds? Or? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, they go up. We have um, the same weight classes as the guys. Oh, the same exact classes? Same things, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but remember that even for a while there was a time where the, the lightweights and middleweights, you know, middleweights has probably always been the biggest thing yeah. for like pound for pound the best boxers. Definitely, you know, it's still like that now too. Yeah. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Although I wouldn't mind seeing a woman the size of Buster Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. Right, here comes... Um, and now Dave is... Why are you dressed like this? Oh I feel I feel I have to do some sort of equal footing. You know, I'm obviously going to whip these broads' his asses. Yeah. Why not dress <laughs> like them? So I got into my prettiest dainty clothes. Where did you... Uh, I'm ready to kick ass, baby. Where did you get the panties from? Uh, that was from my wife. Yeah. <laughs> now, I how- stole them at midnight last night while she now, was sleeping. The interesting thing is... How could you wear woman's panties and not have a bulge? Right. <laughs> it's very cold. Yeah. It's not that cold. It is. It's really not that cold. Well, it's breezy at least. And Give me that. You, and then you're wearing a shirt that said, I did Justin three times. Yeah, I fucked him. Yeah. That's the one, two, three. And you're... <laughs> oh, one, two, three. Yeah, the old one, two, three. Yeah. I interpret it as, you know, I KO'd him. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, like, I did him on the canvas. Yeah, and you're you're wearing uh, lipstick. You're yeah, wearing, I'm wearing some, some lipstick, sure. And an ugly wig. Right. Ugly? Yeah, it's pretty hideous. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm boxing a hooker. You are boxing. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, you are, you're buying a left hook or to your oh, face. Right, stop it. Hurricane, you're <laughs> going down, All Hurricane. Right. Now, you don't talk smack to the tornado, baby. Yeah, hook hooker. yeah. <laughs> here's the thing: hookers would actually have someone that wants to have sex with them. Where I can't imagine anyone. Hurtful. You. Hurtful. Yeah. Stay still. All right, Dave is uh, getting into his gloves. Yeah. You can't hook that hooker. Yeah. Push it. Push it. All right, it should be uh, it should be fuzzy over fairly quick, but Dave feels strong about himself. Yeah, Dave's coming into this with some confidence. I don't know if the panties give him that or his boxing skill. You don't want any headgear on? So is she wearing headgear? No. But you need headgear. Why don't you put headgear on just to be sure? All right, I'll put headgear on. Yeah. Just to hold that ugly wig in place. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wig? <laughs> that is a wig. <laughs> God. Because if it was real if it was, it was real hair, I would have shaved you know, it. My right eye is <laughs> shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck you, Hurricane. All right, with the headgear on, you look like Grace Slick. <laughs> it gives you a... Uh, Feed nice- your hair! Hurricane! That's... He called me out. I'm just. Uh, put the on? Yeah, right. I feel bad yeah. for him. Yeah, please yeah. put gloves on, Hurricane. <laughs> I love it. We'll get knee side fall off. Uh, if his drawers <laughs> fall off, we'll always. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. But all, maybe, maybe we'll see the raisin. <laughs> Dave, you're definitely lumpy in some odd places. <laughs> I work out sometimes, right? You got thighs that look like tabioca right now. <laughs> Maybe my workout plan isn't the uh, most efficient, but yeah. I do work out. I like the old school uh, Converse that you're wearing. <laughs> well, these these are my kick-ass shoes. Looks like you're boxing in 62. <laughs> What's, what are you guys doing over here? Do I have trouble getting you... Uh, yeah, just, up, uh, Dave. Yeah, put the glove on me and let me hammer this bitch. <laughs> Apparently he has two different sized hands. How can you look like that and be confident? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Dave, what what is your strategy right now? Uh, well, I'm a, uh, I have a, a two-fold strategy. Um, one is not to get ho- uh, choked by the headgear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little tight. <laughs> Christ. He's claustrophobic. Let him out. No, my, uh, she doesn't realize, Ronnie B, that I'm a lefty. I'm a southpaw, baby. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to try and fight her right-handed, and then uh, Mickey's going to turn me around. All right, so it's uh, South Pole, South Jersey, South, South Philly, South, South Ireland, Pole. South Pole, baby. South Pole. South Paul. All right, let's go ahead and... Still uh, lining them up. If you want to see uh, these okay. folks, Bessie, they're on Pal Talk right now. Name of the room is I Just Did Justin Three Times <laughs> at Pal Talk. No, it's the Ron and Fez Big Ass Room on Pal Talk. Should that be our official room? You know, we've never had an official Pal Talk room. It's true. Might be a good idea. Today may be the day. Wow. That's it. Let's see. <laughs> Look at my ass, pal talk. That's what you want, pal talk. All right, I gotta see this. Give me a, this is up. I gotta see what he looks like on there. He's just sticking his ass. Where is it? 
Right above the asphalt. He choked. It's the worst city. Yeah. Yeah, you're... Dude, you're from the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Hurricane! Bring it down! He, he moves well in the ring. He really oh, yeah. does. This is just a sampling, Rod. This is just a little fucking sampling. <laughs> The one, two, three. No, one, Let's, two, yeah. three. All right. oh. We going now? All right. no. Dave, you had something dropped out. Uh, something Dave. Dropped out. Oh. All right. uh, someone will have to fix it because he's, he's, he's hey, in gloves. Accidents happen. Accidents happen, Ron. Accidents happen. Yeah, he's wearing gloves. He can't fix it himself. <laughs> Accidents happen. Then so why aren't you upset by it? <laughs> why are you sitting here like a kid touch or excited? Some old man who just exposed himself. It's the playground. What are uh, you doing? Hitting the bag there? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking speed bag? That's exactly All right, fix it. I, he fixed his drawers. <laughs> Get them all tucked in. <laughs> and now, since that happened, he's slightly excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Full, I am. I can't kill him. I'm Seriously, kill him. I'm no trying one, to push it down. No one checked him for a foreign object. <laughs> I believe they just closed down Pal Talk. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Ron Fez big ass room, and the cameras you pull up are I'm the Pits and Ope Ant 2. All right, let's start it slow. Just give him a little workout. Let's see how he looks in the ring. Uh, let's go, Hurricane. All right, let's go. All right, let's see. Here they go. Nice go with the ring. He's got reach on her. Oh, oh he oh, just tagged him. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, just tagged him in the head. Oh, 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 oh all right. Oh, He's just oh, fucked up. Oh, 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 Stay down. Stay down, Chip. Stay down. Nuts in, stay down. Is that round one? Yeah. All right. All right, let's stand, stand up for a second. Holy fuck. Fix his pants. Fix his pants. Fix his pants. Pitsy. Pitsy. All I want you to do is fix his pants. You're on pants duty. Panty duty. So grossed out. And he's shaved like a little girl. That round. You shave yourself like a nine-year-old girl. Well, it was it's female boxing, now, isn't it? You got tagged yeah. uh, a couple times. Where Did it hurt? I, yeah. uh, I saw you act like you took the flop, but you know, no. I figured you also. Did she hit me in the nose, out. and yeah. no, what happened was she hit me in the nose, and my left knee gave out. So, I, I it might have looked fake, but what happened was I did like a fucking weird spin, like she hit me in the nose, and for some reason it hurt so much I felt it down here, so I went what? Like my I fucking left body just gave yeah. out. She hit me so hard. I swear. But I'm ready. Yeah, it didn't seem like you really uncorked on him either. You're just mainly just giving him yeah. some shots. All right. Yeah, warming him up. Yeah, warming up. This is. Right. Those were just shots. Now, Dave, I would. If I was you, I'd think a little more defensively. Yeah. Now, I'm not trying to tell you how to fight. No, I know. But you have a block to shot. I know. Yeah. That's not my stuff. <laughs> I literally grew up on Rocky movies. There was no fucking defense for 15 rounds. Guess what? You need to make that your style. You, you need to incorporate a little defense. All right, we'll do. Is this right. round two? Yeah. Ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Eastside Dave against the Hurricane from Best Film Boxers. <laughs> Fix his drawers. Get Fix up, his drawers. Get up, champ! Get up, champ! <laughs> Fix his drawers. That's all I want you to do. You knock this dick out. <laughs> I believe that's called a DKO. A <laughs> DKO. This isn't This isn't going the way I thought. It was yeah. This is not going the way I thought it was going to go. I want you need a little break now. She hit you no. where? Give me 10 seconds. Yeah. She hit me in the nose. Is that all? <laughs> she hit me in the nose again and that one really fucked me up a little bit. I'm seeing things. All right, give me give me 15 seconds. I, no, now not 15. Tiny. We're not rushing you, all right? All right. Just staying in. So, um, you're having a lot of trouble taking a punch. I'm not right. that with you. No, it doesn't. Oh, I don't want spitting all over our spit. Sorry, I confused him. spit bucket. I know, I confused Pitsy for a spit bucket. He's got a thick head, Ron. All right. 
<laughs> so uh, fix his drawers, Pitsy. It's all you're supposed he to be worried about. It, does he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's you're his ball detail. Yeah. You're his cock man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> she hit me so hard, I feel a little drunk right now. You know, um, <laughs> she, hit, she hit Dave so hard, she actually hurt his clitoris somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know All right. Are you ready? Get yeah, round three. Let's do it. Listen, look at me. Yeah. I want you to think a little defense. Defense. Don't worry so much about throwing a punch, because right. every time you attempt, <laughs> she, you get tagged. She hits me. So get comfortable in All the right. ring. I'm going to yeah. fucking Jerry Cooney your ass right We're now. We're supposed to be going uh -oh. here at 3 o'clock. Oh, okay. trouble. <laughs> ready? Thank you, yeah. Shot. There you go. Hands up, Dave. <laughs> Don't come in, Dave. Work the defense. Work the defense. Oh, That's right. Oh, right. You. She takes. Oh, she punches him in the ass. She punches his ass. She hit me the ass. She hit me the fucking asshole. She's got good aim. <laughs> <laughs> now is more. Oh Alright, fix himself, no! Pitsy. Fix no! him. Wait, wait, wait. Fix it. Put somebody else on the mic and you just worry about keeping his cock in his pants. Alright? I got you. Uh, oh, I'm getting excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. Alright, we're back working it again. That's it, Dave. That's it. Use your reach. That's it. That's it. Use your reach. There you That's go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Fix his neck. Fix his neck. Oh. She tagged him again. Oh. <laughs> Fix his neck. Hand the mic over, Pitsy. I don't know how many times I have to ask you to do this. Dave, how'd, how'd that one go for you, brother? I don't know who the hell is talking right now. Who really? said that? I get another face shot. Every time a face shot hurts. I know. That one was... Uh, Pitch his dick, Pitch That his was the worst of all. Yeah. We have an awful staff. Oh, Pitsy, yeah. That I asked the guy ten off. fucking times. <laughs> she is quite a good boss. <laughs> yeah. That's a Does she do this professionally? Yeah. Yes. She's a former two-time world champion for the WIBA. I can go one more. Yeah, why, why don't you just rest for a little bit? Give me, give me, give me six, 17 seconds. <laughs> Don't worry about the time. Why, why don't you go sit yeah. on the couch for a second? I'll rest for a little bit. Sit on the couch just for a second. Get yourself straightened out. You want a tag team, Belinda? Yeah. <sighs> now, um, is he giving you more trouble than you thought? Is he, has he impressed you a little bit? Yeah, he's pretty big. Punches. Yeah. That's yeah. But every time it seems like he wants to throw a punch, you tag him. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. He's not. She, she... <laughs> <laughs> it seems like she's got five arms. Yeah. I, I can't stop him. I can't stop an octopi. Yeah. <laughs> There's more. He's saying more than one octopus, Fezzy. I can't that's stop that octopi. shit. <laughs> Ooh, this is what punch drunk feels like. Yeah. So you really feel that bad, Dave? Yeah, like I'm seeing. Punch drunk? Yep. I feel, uh... It's kind of fun. Everyone's well, wobbling you and waving. You came into this in great shape. Thank you. you, uh, sure. you got I the cardiovascular. Thank down. you very much. I did yeah. my best. Yeah. Looks good. yeah, yeah. Great. Love the abs. I know. <laughs> well, I work out. You know, I work 17 minutes a week. All right, I'm ready for another round. I All don't right. know what's the stalling for. Now, Dave, sure. uh, you're behind on points. Uh, am I? Yeah. So you're really going to need to go out with a flurry here. I need a knockout. <laughs> yeah. Is what you're telling me. Okay. I've been listening to you all fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the one who coached on defense. <laughs> you, you fucking fight like Obama Bowles. <laughs> you just have nothing. Or, Let him go, buddy. The lady boxers are here Jeez. from bestfemboxers.com if you want to check this out. Uh, Pal I did throw oh, some punches. Wow. Dave is wow. lighting her up. Oh, she's coming back. Oh, oh, she tagged him. Oh, oh, she tagged him again. Just so hard. Oh, oh, oh. 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 She's hitting him while he's down. That's it for it. She was trying to make him feel wanted, you know? She was really peppering the pooch there. In that big belly. It's over for you, Dave. Well, for now. Yeah. I gotta rejuvenate. Maybe I can fight for the black one later. Roll, roll back over. You see. Earl, Dave, you, you, you're popping something in your stomach there, too. I don't know what it was. But I think that you had some of your innards come on to <laughs> fix him, Pitsy. Were, were, were there thumbtacks on her gloves? No. No. Holy fuck, it felt no. spiky. 
I think it was in your pants. Not that it was spiky. You can check this out at the Ron and Fez big ass room on Pal Talk. Pull up I Am the Pits and the Oak Ant 2 cameras. All right, Dave is down. Uh, we are going to break down. We come back. Uh, Earl Douglas is going to try to redeem the Ron and Fez show. Yes. It is Ron and Fez. Uh, thank you. We are back with the Rod and Fez show on a Wednesday. The ladies from Best Femme Boxers are in studio. We just had Eastside Dave taking on Hurricane Hernandez, and Black Girl will be up next. Uh, Fez, it was very disappointing for me to see uh, Eastside Dave. Uh, well, first he came out looking like Bette Davis, and then <laughs> uh, just got his ass handed to him. <laughs> Dave, how many times did you go down? Four? Uh, at least, I think five times. Five times yeah. in five. about a minute. Was it that short? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> time really, you can't understand time. I My brain's still a little fried, Ron. Yeah. You time might be flies. able to tell. Time flies. Yeah. I honestly, I couldn't tell. I thought I was in there for like 15 minutes. Also, it seemed like I was watching you punch. It seems like you feel like all your power comes from your scrotum. So <laughs> the, the well. balls would flap out, weak punch, <laughs> yeah. you'd get hit and go down. Oh, that was my strategy. Yeah. It didn't pay off, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you'll get back. You know, right. there's no reason that you have to stay in those clothes and keep the wig on. Oh, I, you know. Yeah, you've been done for a while. Oh, I'm yeah. done fighting for the day? <laughs> yeah. I thought, you know, there was a possible tag team match. Right. No, okay. <laughs> if, if you, maybe you just like to dress that way. <laughs> I feel comfy. Yeah. And to think he doesn't have a prom date. <laughs> All right. So Hurricane uh, waste laid him to waste. Did he show you anything? Um, yeah, he had power, speed, and heart. Oh, that's nice. Hurricane, I take back everything I said about you being a wench and all. I didn't Thank mean you. it. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, it was uh, it was oddly hot to see her throwing punches. I, it was really the strangest thing to go. Wow, I bet that feels good to get hit. <laughs> all right, so uh, our own Earl Douglas is going to come to the ring next, Fezzi, and we're excited about this. Uh, this uh, this guy is one and zero in the ring, so I do want to warn you. He has had a fight before. Uh, he won that fight. What a street cat! Uh, yeah, he was. <laughs> at, <laughs> so here he comes. Um, yeah. Now um, he's kind of dressed like Andre 2000 at the Grammys <laughs> that time. <laughs> You can check this out on Pal Talk, the Ron and Fez big ass room, and check out the cameras. I'm the Pits and Ope Ant Two. Uh, Earl, what is your strategy? More speed than power? Stick and move. Use yeah. my experience. Use more ring experience than Dave. So I'm gonna use more ring experience, and then just try to wear it down. Let's just let's see you throw a couple combinations. Yeah, that's the speed. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that looks good. You uh, trained with Rock'em Sock'em Robots for a couple years, didn't you? Because <laughs> that, ex- that is the exact same punch that you use in Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Let's see it. Show us the footwork, too. Oh, oh. oh there he is, moving. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like a butterfly. Yeah. Like a Sting like a flea. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. He has feelings, too. All right, Earl, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Okay. All right, Earl, Black Earl Douglas will be taking on Brown Sugar Laracuente. And even his mouthpiece is black, which is interesting. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So this is Brown Sugar from BestFemboxers.com. Ding. Ding. All right. All right, Earl, throwing that jab out there. Oh, oh, Earl's oh, landing some punches. Oh, Earl, the, oh, oh, she comes back with a flurry. Oh, oh Earl. Wow. Earl ended up a little in trouble. And again, she looks so attractive. Oh, punch. Oh, 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 there was some power there. Earl, cover up. Cover up. Oh. Earl took a tag there. But is holding himself together well. Yeah. That's it, Earl. That's the way to move in the ring. Oh, he just got tagged. Nice right. Oh. Oh, he's... Oh, okay. he's holding the ring. He's holding the ring. He's holding the ring. There it is. All right, steady day, Cal. How you feeling, Earl? Use words. Who has a towel? 
<laughs> oh, oh, no, I think you snuck one in. It is so sexy to see a woman box. Oh. All right, Earl. Earl's cool. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. rabbit punches. <laughs> Oh, he's on his balls. He's on his balls. <laughs> this is all happening live right now on Pal Talk. Thank God he's black. Yeah, the black on black look. How you feeling, Earl? You doing well? That's You're what his dad good. said when he was poor. <laughs> yeah, the little boy. What's that, Fez? No, I, thank God he's black. I said that's what his dad said when he was born. <laughs> and that microphone so- sounds awful. That which, is a hor- which mic? The one Mooch has on Earl. It right, sounds horrible. Let's get horrible. another mic on him. Sounds horrible. Uh, Earl, come on over. You're all blown up right now, right? Oh, yeah. She, she hits like a little mule kick. Really? <laughs> she ended up- <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. She, took me, she, I, she got me right on the nose a couple of times. Flush. Now, Earl definitely has a little more skills than what we were seeing earlier, right? <laughs> no, there's still no skills. Oh, okay. There's still no skills. I was looking for some compliment for our team. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. He has something. Yeah. All right, Earl, you ready to get back in there? Yeah, I'm ready. But you're breathing hard through your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You want a sandwich or some? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely hits hard. Yeah. All right. There you go. You're back in. He's ready to go again. And the mouthpiece is hanging out. He's mouth breathing. It's so bad. All right, here he goes. Oh, she comes right in and tags. Earl has a way of punching and leaving at the same time. He, he's got one foot in the bucket. That's the power I'm looking for, Earl. Oh, that's the power. <laughs> that's the power, Earl. Oh, no. The leather's flying. Tagged again. That one's sta- oh, that one staggered him. Staggered him with the left. Staggered him. Oh. Oh, oh she's like, this is Sugar Ray. She's- Stay with it, Earl. Stay with it, Earl. You own her. <laughs> Earl Douglas versus Brown Sugar from BestFemboxers.com. Oh. 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 <laughs> she wheeled it up. Yeah. She had the windmill going. <laughs> oh, they can't speak Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. In English, That's how they're winning. Before. <laughs> That's, before. <laughs> That's it, Earl. Exhaust yourself on her. Come on, Earl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come back, Earl. Come on, Earl. Second win, baby. Uh, oh, oh, she's dead. Oh, oh he's boy. in trouble. He's in big trouble. Oh, don't go around, man. Don't go around. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Earl is doing his snail defense. You're not going to win a lot of points there, Earl. Oh, she worked it. Oh, she, brown sugar. She took the knee. Brown sugar took her over one knee. It's employee studio boxing today on the Run and Fest show. He's choking on this. <laughs> Take it out. It's uh, if you want to check this out on Pal Talk, go to the Run and Fest big ass room. Pull up the cameras. Give him a water. I'm the Pits and Ope Ant too. I never seen this. Some guy foaming. <laughs> Earl, you're foaming at the mouth, brother. He loves it so. Hey, I took a. <laughs> It's Tom's account. All right, so, so embarrassing. <laughs> the Tom's is coming back up. I thought you were going having a fit on me. <laughs> yeah, you feeling good? You feeling strong? Maybe. No. Conditioning may have to go to brown sugar here, Ronnie. <laughs> what was the mullis defense that you were doing, where you were pulling yourself into your own shell? Oh, she hurt me with the one body shot, and I had to yeah. get my my body just completely crunched up like a. It was like watching Transformers. You you stop becoming a human being. Yeah, it was it was armadillo. It really was. You should come out at night and furage. The way he's dressed right now, he should. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Brown sugar face. 
<laughs> Earl, do not uh, let her be able to start Sugar Ray Leonard in you. She's starting to mock you out a little bit, moving around. Yeah, she's quick. She's yeah. really quick. <laughs> Physically and witty. <laughs> well, hey, don't put yourself down. You're exhausted. So oh, yeah. that helps. I'm, I'm, I'm jello right now, but one more. All right, one more round. Oh, oh, yeah. nice. He wants one more. He wants one more round with Brown Sugar. She is a uh, lady boxer from bestfembboxers.com. Are <laughs> uh, you ready, Earl? Just give me a sec. Yeah, <laughs> they they always try to give you seven minutes between rounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just normally when you say "give me time," that's the end. That's thrown in the towel. All right, Earl, you got all the thumbs out of you now, too. I don't want to see this morning's breakfast. Here he comes. Championship round. All right, this is it, Earl. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Oh. <laughs> Earl, uh, is, oh, he took a tag. He took a tag right above the left eye. It's a oh, oh, through the ropes. Earl got knocked through the ropes. Okay. Oh, it's over. That's oh, it. Boy. There's the armadillo. That's the, that's the armadillo I love. <laughs> oh, he he left his nose out there. There's the armadillo working his magic. <laughs> this is all happening right now on Pal Talk, the run of Fed's big ass room. Oh, she winds up the right, jabs up with the left. Oh, oh, there there. That one took him down. <laughs> Body shot <laughs> dropped him. <laughs> what happened there, Earl? He's so mean. He's shaping. He's shaking the cobwebs out. Yeah. What happened there, Earl? Uh, took a shot to the head. Look, Earl's trying to get his own. He's trying to get his own gloves off. <laughs> he's trying to escape. <laughs> Maybe well, kneel down for a second, Earl. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be so intimidating if Brown Sugar wasn't laughing the entire time. <laughs> And smiling to herself. <laughs> I can actually tell that she's excited. Oh. That's the thing. <laughs> that Earl, all right, Earl, you need a little... Is that it for you? Yeah. You want to get out of that? All right, good stuff. Way to go. <laughs> Way to work it out. <laughs> we'll head back over to the studio right. part. Let's hear the, as, uh, let's hear the Black Girl song as a way of just saying how proud we are of them. I was born and raised in New York City In a housing project way up in the hood I dressed in dark clothing so folks started calling me black girl Oh, and they used to laugh about it Cause deep down they knew they called me that Cause I was as black as A salute to Black Earl Giving it his all against Brown Sugar from BestFemboxers.com uh, uh, My guys are all blown up and I don't see the ladies looking like they've even had a broken a sweat yet <laughs> Did you expect a little more? Is that what you expect out of the average guy who hasn't had any real training? Basically, that's what we get from almost every guy that's not an athlete. Every guy who's not an athlete yeah. can put up that much. Earl, you're pretty blown <laughs> up. How you feeling? I feel really good, but I'm just like trying to fight for air. Yeah. <laughs> really fighting for air right now. <laughs> well, no one's stopping you. <laughs> well, <laughs> and breathe all you want. I'm no trying to do it. It's just like... You gotta like relearn how to breathe all of a sudden, so I'm, but I'm feeling really good. <laughs> nutty talk. <laughs> now, Hurricane, you love seeing a guy in trouble too. You, I was watching you, just enjoying the hell out of yourself. Every time he'd get hurt, you were giddy. You uh, were literally giddy from it. I just love watching her work. Yeah, that's all it is. Beautiful and, yeah. and seriously, unbelievable just to watch her move. Yeah. You know, just really graceful, really uh, gorgeous. Earl, you, on the other hand, have zero power, <laughs> and you're, you, you just try to extend the arms as much as you can. No, because she, she kept catching me with that right hand, and I'm trying to think. It's like, I need, I was like, watch the right hand, and in the second I say it, wham, she hits me with it again. <laughs> <laughs> were you enjoying it, though, in there? It looked like you were having a little more fun than Dave. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, it, it just feels good to get this much exercise, not getting my head kicked in, but... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you also move way too much in the ring. You're moving for no apparent reason. <laughs> Probably one of the reasons that you can't breathe. You're just <laughs> bouncing around like you were on a pogo stick. I was having fun, but I, a lot of it was fun on the ground yeah. after a while. You feel a little high from it. Yeah, I mean, she, 
I was trying to do my best, and I could not see the punches where they were coming from. The interesting thing is your best is the worst. Oh. That's the great thing, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. I if it was that. anyone else, maybe you would have had a win. Well, one day I'll rematch. All right. I'll yeah. rematch her one you day. You guys are always invited to come in here and beat these guys up. <laughs> we can do it all the we'll time. We'll look forward to it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, yeah, if you ever really feel like you're angry and you need to get some frustrations out, come in and beat up our staff. <laughs> They're here for you. All right. That includes the interns? Yeah, beat all up right. the interns. <laughs> <laughs> I think Stover wanted in, Fez. I was oh, yeah? He was working Earl's Corner a little bit. He was excited. Uh, Earl, at any point did you feel like you knew what you were doing? <laughs> yes, I knew it. <laughs> when I stepped in the ring. Yeah. And for, like, for, well, first, for a couple of seconds, I was like, hey, I'm hanging in there. Like, were you wham. as lost as you are producing? Was it the same kind of fear that you have? <laughs> no, and not confusion? at all. <laughs> not at all. Cross another thing off the list <laughs> that you're what? not good at. <laughs> Where? <laughs> 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 now does he cross it off the list or put it on? He has every. He starts with everything on the list. Yeah, that he's not good at. Uh, yeah, that he thinks he is, and then crosses them off. <laughs> I like how Earl just took the knee. He took a body shot and then went down to his knee. Did the body hurt or the head shots more? Uh, that first right hand got my attention really fast, and it was yeah. like, okay, avoid the right hand, which I, I could not answer. Then she hit me with a body shot. I like that you I were felt, in a discussion with yourself, and I, and I just felt <laughs> you know, with the body shot. I just felt all the air just coming, rising, and shooting out of my body. I was like, oh my you, god! You I got breathe. the same thing in your legs too, right, Dave? Yeah. When you got hit, so the legs gave out. My when she hit me with her first left hook, mm -hmm. the entire left side of my body went out. <laughs> so my left leg just like buckled, and I spun, it made me like spin around like a yo-yo. Here's what I like: you never even gave her the opportunity. To have any combinations? You went down on the on one on the old one two three. No. You were you weren't even hanging around for two. I stayed in there. Something was good. hanging around. Oh yeah, <laughs> something. A little ball sack. No, the first round. The I speed was, bag. The first you had to work in the speed bag. <laughs> I thought the third round, the second, and third round went pretty well for me. But I think he liked the butt shots. I don't better. recall much of the fight, but I thought <laughs> the second, and third round. I, I can't believe well. that you're calling them rounds because nothing <laughs> lasted more than fourteen seconds. No way. Yeah. I um, bet you weren't even in there for three minutes altogether. <laughs> there wouldn't have been a, a an official round at all. Master Poe is here, and he uh, witnessed everything. Master Poe, um, where, where do you think our what do you think our guys did wrong? What were you, uh, what, what do you think the real problem was for them? They shouldn't have come into the uh, studio. That was the, that was the yeah. big problem. Yeah, they should stay home from work. Yeah, stay home. Did you see, between the two of them, which one do you feel like you could train if you had to train for a fight? Um, I think Earl would be a better fighter. <laughs> you think that Earl would be able to beat Dave in the ring? Dave would destroy him. I mean, Earl would destroy him. No way. <laughs> yeah, Dave is, is, he gets hit by a fly and, and he <laughs> goes down. Well, again, it was a surprise. Not that, that you're a fly hurricane. Such a small girl would... Hit so, so hard, yeah, bunch. yeah. It's okay. I'll take you under my wing for that fight. Please, do. oh, wouldn't you. that be great? Yeah, <laughs> train him to kill. Give me I some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the jab cross was a surprise, <laughs> or the jab cross? I don't know jab. the technicalities <laughs> of the sport. Or the oh. jab cross hook hook uppercut. Whatever. I I landed a couple good shots on you, didn't I, Hurricane? Yeah, yeah. She really had her in trouble. There for a while. <laughs> I was worried you were going to break her wrist. <laughs> you know what I love? Neither one of them put in mouthpiece or headgear. <laughs> they just come walking in with their street clothes. <laughs> <laughs> They're smoking cigarettes, having hors d'oeuvres. Waiting for the cocktail. <laughs> yeah. I'm stunned how sexy both of them are, too, in the ring. I bet, I bet you just have male groupies, like crazy amounts you know, of male yeah, groupies. Yeah, we do. We get, um, most of our fan base is usually all men, so that's why we cater to the men, actually. Yeah. Like, we do the extra thing. Like, we, we wear the extra short skirts with the tiny underwear when we fight. Just right. for those extra points. Sure. Just in case the like is closed. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think those are mine. <laughs> I saw him going through your bag earlier. <laughs> and then I saw you go through his. I came to fight. <laughs> where, did you get, fight. where did you get the I did Justin three times, Sheriff? I stole both items from my wife's uh, dresser drawer last night at midnight when she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. Didn't really work out the way. <laughs> I thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to kill this chick. And then... Uh, 
No, it didn't work out the way I Way thought. to give her a stained panties back. That ought to be nice. Because <laughs> I think you were bleeding a little bit. Yeah, I think was... you dropped a little blood in there. Yeah. Run those to the car though. wash first. <laughs> there was a little runnage. <laughs> Big deal. Earl, how you doing over there, big girl? I'm getting it together. I'm all yeah, right. Yeah, he's finding that air that you were looking for oh, yeah. <laughs> so desperately. Yes. <laughs> Fighting for it. Hey, you're a great after-fight interview. You really are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still getting all my bearings back. <laughs> you had bearings? <laughs> <laughs> yes, not that what was left of them. Uh, Earl fighting for air as we speak. Earl, would you consider going down to Gleason's? Yeah, I would love to learn a few things. Yeah. Like, just mainly learn how to fight. But <laughs> How about learn how to sit like a lady right now, mister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's that air he was looking to get. He, the only air he can get is around his crotch. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> you did it. If I, lived yeah. in, if I lived in the area, I would love to go down and learn how to do that. It was really cool watching them. Yeah, you want to go down, but not to fight, no. don't you? No. 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 Uh, what were you thinking? They were attractive? No. No, it was amazing to see someone, you know, a woman be able to handle herself like that, and it looks just like great exercise, and, and I don't know, it looked like really something it, cool to try. It was if they're winning. <laughs> It's not much <laughs> exercise when you're lying on your fucking back. So it didn't, it didn't look all that good from where you were lying. Huh? No, it, was, <laughs> it didn't it look was... good from where we were either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My ball sack, Hurricane. Hurricane, if you don't stop. It's going to happen again. Hurricane, there was tornado around about two. I still can't tell yeah. what the fuck I'm That's saying. That's it. That's it. I feel Dave. like Boom Boom Mancini right now. Well, Boom Boom won. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I meant when he retired. Mm. So what's your record? <laughs> uh, three and thirteen. <laughs> this is my first intergender fight. <laughs> I'm three and twelve in real fights before that. <laughs> you actually keep your own record of street fights. Street fights, bar fights, whatever. I'm three and twelve career wise. <laughs> well, you know, but you did uh, grow up in that tough neighborhood of uh, rich uh, white suburbs. <laughs> the mean, very, very difficult. <laughs> the mean streets of Eastside Spring Lake, New Jersey, baby. <laughs> Drive BMWs. <laughs> he, two of the uh, fights that he lost were actually at the grounds of the country club. <laughs> Golf cart rides. Fuck yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. They hit him so hard his bow tie popped off. <laughs> <laughs> that caddy was a pain in the ass. <laughs> what, what were your fights about as a kid? <laughs> um, just like first hitting on chicks and then usually just mouthing off to like the bigger kids in school. Right. Like this one kid, his name was Eugene, but he demanded everyone call him Butch because he thought that sounded cool. And I was always calling him Eugene until one day he just destroyed me <laughs> in the fucking... <laughs> in front Tell of me this see. videotape. I love to see you getting beat up as a kid. All right, Ron and Fez show, we did the uh, boxing today and uh, did not go all that well for our boys, Fezzy. No, Eastside Day falling down against the uh, Hurricane Earl, not doing much better against Brown Sugar. I came out like a wild dog. And you actually got killed like a wild dog. <laughs> That's the thing. You got put down like a wild right. dog. Well, it's just one more piece of experience. I have, I'm going to spend my life trying to find something that one of you guys is good at. That's what I really want to do with okay. my life now. What's next? Um, What's next for you now? Good set singing. You know what? I, I, <laughs> I, I feel like uh, a parent that has waterhead kids. Like You're like, what happens when I go? Who's going to take care of them? <laughs> I start to worry after a while. I'm, uh, okay. Dito. And you get him on the short bus to try to teach him some sort of skill. <laughs> Bestfemboxers.com is the website. We want to thank uh, the Hurricane and Brown Sugar for coming in today. Thank you guys. Enjoyed ourselves. Oh, uh, you're the best. Being part of this. We'll have you back.